Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Jenkins tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen what is Jenkins pipeline. And we have also seen how to use pipelines in Jenkins using this pipeline script, which we have defined into our Jenkins job configuration. Now in this video, I'm going to show you the second option of uh, using a pipeline script, which is pipeline script from HCM. Okay. So in the last video, I have shown you how you can create uh, this kind of pipeline script inside your Jenkins configuration. Now there is one more way of uh, creating your uh, Jenkins file, which is you can create your Jenkins file into your GitHub repository and then use the second option, which says pipeline script from HCM which is more convenient. So let's see how we can use pipeline script from HCM. So we will take the uh, same project which we have uh, used in the last video, which is the Maven project. And there is one special file which I have created here, which is Jenkins file. This Jenkins file name typically start with the capital J and without any spaces, you just need to write Jenkins file here. And when I click on this file, you will be able to see the pipeline script. So this is the pipeline script, which I have written into my Jenkins file, which resides in my Maven project on my GitHub repository. So the syntax is uh, almost same. So your Jenkins file start with the keyword pipeline. And then in these curly brackets, you have the agent any, and then you define the stages. So in uh, this script, we have three stages. One is Maven clean. Other is the testing stage, which is Maven test. And the last stage is Maven package. Okay. Now, if you notice here, uh, we haven't used any git clone command, which we have used in the last video. So let's compare these two script first of all. So you can see in the first stage, what I was doing is I was using the shell command, first of all, to remove the my app directory, which is created by cloning our GitHub repository. And then we were cloning our GitHub repository once again. And then we were running the Maven clean command into the specified folder, which is my app. Now, when you use Jenkins file in your GitHub repository, you don't need to use uh, this remove command. You don't need to use this clone command because uh, when you choose uh, this option, Jenkins will allow you to give the path of the GitHub repository from where it will clone your repository. So we will see uh, this example in few seconds, but let's uh, see the script first of all. So you can see I have just run the maven clean command and that's it. So this will work similar to this script, which we have written in the configuration, but with the lesser steps. So we have uh, removed these two steps and you don't even need to provide this minus F flag because this maven clean will be executed inside your my app directory automatically. Okay, so syntax is also much more cleaner here, just maven clean command, maven test command and maven package command. Okay, so let's see how we can uh, use this Jenkins file into our Jenkins job. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new Jenkins job. So we will see from the start how to use this Jenkins file. So I'm going to just name my uh, Jenkins job as pipeline demo two, and then I'm going to choose pipeline here and I'm going to choose. Okay. So once your Jenkins job is created, we will uh, just say it's a GitHub project and we will give the URL of our uh, GitHub repository here. And then we will scroll down and in the pipeline section, this time we will choose the second option, which says pipeline script from SCM. And now you will see these uh, configuration steps here. And the first option here is SCM. So as SCM, we are going to choose the Git SCM. So just choose 
get from here so once you choose get here you will be able to see this uh, repository url so you can give your repository url here so i'm going to just uh, copy my get repository url by clicking this button and copying the url and pasting here and then uh, once you click anywhere outside this box you will be able to see uh, this error is gone and the credential I don't need but you can set it from here and then uh, you can see a branch specifier so by default my project have only one branch which is the master branch but if you have multiple branches then you can define whatever branch uh, you want to use for this Jenkins job so I'm going to leave this master as default but if you have some other branch you can specify here okay and now you will be able to see the script path so because our Jenkins file script resides on the root of our project so we don't need to change the path of this script you can see once again this Jenkins file resides on the root of my project so directly inside my my app directory if this Jenkins file reside inside some folder or some complicated folder structure then you can give the relative path of your Jenkins file script from here now last option here is lightweight checkout so I will leave this as default and now I'm going to just save my Jenkins job and I will try to run my Jenkins job so I'm going to just click on build now which is going to start my build and you can see all the stages one by one will be shown here so the checkout SCM is successful and it took three seconds and now the MVN clean command is going on and it's also successful and it took seven seconds and now the test command is going on and it took 13 seconds to execute but it's successful and now the last stage which is the package stage is going on and once it's finished and if you see all the boxes green that means your Jenkins job is successful and all four stages has been executed successfully you can also see uh, the logs here and straight away you will observe that this uh, option is more easier than using or creating your pipeline script into your Jenkins configuration so the advantage of using the Jenkins file into your project is you can change this Jenkins uh, script anytime and you can directly uh, check your code or commit your code and push your code and if uh, your uh, build triggers are uh, properly set you don't need to do anything Jenkins will take care of everything and it will automatically execute every stage and give you all the results so this is how you can use pipeline script from your github repository using Jenkins file I hope you've enjoyed this video please do it comment subscribe and bye for now